Nadeem from Saudi. Uh, sir, this is uh, regarding my personal query. Actually, my father he died last year, and he's and he's been and the wife and he left two wives behind him, who have two sons and three daughters. Each? No, but from first wife he has one son and two daughters. And second wife has one son and one daughter. Okay. And he's, he has a value that is gifted from my grandfather that is worth about 35 lakhs. Okay. I would like you to let me know how this should be distributed because due to indifferences between my both the mothers, my okay. uncles have interfered and they are saying that it should be half half to each wife. Okay. I will answer you, inshallah. Don't worry. Deen from Saudi Arabia, he says that his father died uh, last year. May Allah have mercy on his soul and give him forgiveness. So he had two wives, two sons, and three daughters. And he was gifted a gift by his grandfather. So the deceased father gave him a gift, and the gift was in his possession. So he has wealth. And this wealth is X, for example, amount of money. How to distribute the wealth? It's very easy. Your uncles and aunts have nothing in it because this is totally and solely possessed by your late father. So anything that falls under the wealth of your father in his name, his rights, his debts, whatever, you have to divide it as follows. One eighth goes for both wives which means that one over 16 to your mom one over 16 to your stepmom so the total is one eighth how to do that well actually you have to um, divide the inheritance whatever money uh, you have by eight and you give one eighth, divide, split it into two, and give one to your mom, one to your stepmother. The remaining, that is the seven over eighth of the wealth. This chunk, let's assume it's Y. You have to divide it by seven shares. Each share is given to the, daugh to the daughters, your sisters, one, one, one and two shares is given to you, and another two shares is given to your brother. So by this, the inheritance would be complete, and Allah knows best.